the Monmouth women's lacrosse team, seeded third, gets ready for the upcoming MAC tournament this weekend up at Canisius. The Hawks will take on second seeded Fairfield Friday at 430. I'm here with senior captain Emily Barbieri as we look ahead to the upcoming league tournament. Emily, you go into this conference tournament off of a first round win against Niagara. Talk about the team's momentum after getting 14 goals in the attack in that win over the Purple Eagles. We started out well. The middle, you know, there's a lot of turnovers, a bunch of things going on in attack, and then we finally got it together and really started just finishing those goals. Like that last run at the end really helped us to finish the game strong. And we've seen the attack score in bunches. In the win earlier this year against Marist, you guys went on a long scoring run in that win against Niagara. How now do you keep consistent in this game coming up with the Stags? We keep looking for that fast break, that slow break, and then we settle into our attack and we keep looking for our options and we finish on – great goals and great cuts in the middle. And now as we look ahead to this matchup with Fairfield, you lost to the Stags earlier this year by a goal, struggled to score in that second half. What do you guys look to do differently at the at this tournament game against Fairfield? You know, we just have adjusted on attack during practice, so we look for different options and big time plays and in certain situations where it's like we're down by one or there's a certain time limit left, we practice those things in practice so that we know in a game that we're more comfortable in situations to be able to finish and get more goals in a game. Now joined by senior goalkeeper Katie Donahoe as we look ahead to Mamet's playoff matchup this weekend with Fairfield. And Katie, I, I want to kind of ask ask you what we asked Emily before. You met Fairfield earlier this season. It was a low scoring defensive battle. What do you look for now with this matchup in the semifinals against the Stags? I think we really just as a unit just need to lock it down, play our game, and if we do that, we're going to we're going to be victorious, I think. This game is a matchup of the top two defenses in the conference. Fairfield and you guys one and two. The defense for you guys has been strong all season long. Talk about not only your play in goal, but also the veteran group that you have around you on the defensive side. I mean, I think all season we've been doing a really great job as a defensive unit, and I couldn't be prouder and I mean, the group of girls I have in front of me, I couldn't ask for a better group. So I feel really confident with our play, and I wouldn't want anyone else in front of me. Yeah, you, Emily, the other seniors on this team that have been a part of a couple of championships already in the Northeast Conference, you guys have that experience of winning championships away from home. How do you take that kind of mentality now up to Canisius where you're playing Fairfield neutrally and then potentially a matchup with the top seed after that? Well, it's just another experience that you have, and I mean, a lot of the girls on the team know the feeling of winning a championship, so I think it's carrying that into this and also trying to make the younger girls understand how awesome it is to win and that feeling that you can't even describe. So I think you just have to carry that with you and help it move you through the tournament. We're now joined by the head coach of the Monmouth Women's Lacrosse Program, Denise Westcott, as we look ahead to her Hawks performance in the semifinals against Fairfield and coach you get that first round win against Niagara at home as now you advance for the second time to take on the Stags talk about the first time you met with them it was a one goal game in which you only scored one goal in the second half how do you remedy that this weekend I think more than anything we need to um, take care of possession better um, take our time to get better looks um, take better shots um, I thought they possessed the ball a little bit longer in the second half so we just have to make sure we get possession. Um, it was a very even game last time, so we're looking forward to being able to play them again. And the way the, that, that the regular season shook out, it was it was your team, Fairfield, Canisius, right down to the wire to kind of determine seeds one through three. Is Now you have these semifinal matchups up at Canisius, and I want to ask you about kind of your specialty. The, the way the defense has played this season has really been solid. Katie Donahoe and crew have been phenomenal, and this matchup is a matchup of the number one and two defensive teams. Yeah, you know, their goalie's really good, too. Um, and we didn't play against her last time. She was injured. Uh, she's back in the cage. So um, I think it's going to be important who shows up uh, in the cage this weekend. And defensively, you know, I think our kids have really worked hard this year, switching, sliding, helping each other a little bit better, which puts more pressure on the shot. Um, I think because of those things, you know, we've been a little bit – uh, more gritty with teams facing us and not scoring as much. So hopefully, you know, that team will show up um, and hopefully Katie shows up. So, you know, I think it's going to be a great match. You know, hopefully it's, it's you know, I, I'd love for it to be a blowout, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be a close match, and I, gonna, I think we're going to have to play 60 good minutes of lacrosse. And Coach, please speak to the 
the seniors on your team. They have two championships already under their belt in the Northeast Conference, and, and you've been in this position before, going on the road and, and into a hostile environment and having to play games like you will on Friday. H how big is it having those veterans? We spoke to two of them, and Katie and Emily Barbieri, and, and just that group as a whole and your mindset going into Friday. I think the best thing is that they are experienced. Um, you know, Emily, Gracie, Katie, Allie, they've been on the field a long time. Um, and have had a lot of minutes all four years of, of their career here. So um, having been in championships before, I think they handle the pressure a little bit better. I think they're going to be great leaders when we get on the field to be calm and to make sure we're doing the things that we need to um, to get done with the draw, with us possessing the ball on offense. Um, Gracie's a great communicator defensively um, and kind of runs our defense. So, and you know, Katie in the back just – with her magical hands. Um, it's just going to be a great opportunity to see what they can do as seniors um, taking on this challenge this weekend. But um, I was impressed with this year, I, I think our conference is, the parity in our conference is extremely close, you know, from the bottom team to the top. And it's great to see that lacrosse is stronger in the MAC and that we're really working to have to work hard to beat each other. And it's going to make our all of our programs, I think, better. Well, Coach, we appreciate a few minutes. Good luck in the semifinal matchup with Fairfield. Thank you. That's the head coach of the Monmouth Women's Lacrosse Program, Denise Westcott. Her Hawks, seeded third, take on second-seeded Fairfield on Friday at Canisius. That matchup is available on mac.tv at 430.